Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. I'd like to show you some tips, little tricks in Excel which can save time and uh, make your life a little easier. The first one I'm going to show you is how to insert a bullet point in an Excel cell. Many people will say, well there's no insert bullet point command up here in the ribbon, can't be done. But I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to click in that cell and I'm going to delete the bullet point. Now what I do, I'm going to hold down the ALT key and press 0, 1, 4, 9 and when I release the ALT key there is my bullet point and I can type whatever I need to after that. If you want more bullet points hold down ALT and press ENTER because that keeps you in the same cell. Again ALT 0, 1, 4, 9 gives you another bullet point. So there's the proof that you can actually insert bullet points into an Excel cell. The next, I'll delete Tom and I'm going to type him again and what happens, many people will press the enter key because they want Tom to be the contents of that particular cell. What that does of course, that takes you down a cell and um, uh, that's fine but what if you wanted to stay in the same cell after you've typed Tom, I'm going to hold down the control key and press enter. And when I do that, I stay in the same cell, which can save time because it means you don't have to go back to that cell if you've gone down a cell to uh, format it or whatever it might be. The next, very handy, to select all of this data here. I could of course drag through the cells but what I'm going to do is press Control, Shift and the down arrow. That selects all of the cells for me and stops at the first blank cell that it comes across. Uh, very handy where you have uh, lots and lots of information in a column. Lots of data in a column. Similarly, if I hold down Control, Shift and the right arrow, I select to the right. I could also select up or uh, to the left if I wished. This next one not many people are aware of. I want to also select these cells and I'm going to use the F8 key because F8 puts a little extend selection uh, reminder down the bottom here in the taskbar and all I need to do now is click on the cell to which I want to extend and there is the F8 key. Now what you need to be careful of here is to turn it off because if you don't turn off F8 and you'll now see the extend selection is gone uh, then wherever you click uh, elsewhere it will select all of that information. The next area here I'm going to remove the formatting. Whoops, by going, my apologies, to clear the formats in the editing group and for headings, sometimes for appearance sake, you might like to have in the Home tab, in the Alignment group, the AB. And here, Angle Counterclockwise, and that's exactly what it does. Lots of people like that type of thing for their, um, uh, for, for their presentations. Here is a formula. It's adding up those two cells. So what I'm going to do now is to hold down the control key and press the tilde button which is to the left of the number 1 in the number line at the top of the keyboard. That shows me the formulas in the cell. Very handy when you want to see formulas in lots of cells because it will show you every formula on the worksheet. Control tilde takes me back to where I was. This text needs to be corrected. There's a spelling error here. Excel also has a spell checker using F7, the same as Word, and it finds the error and highlights the cell for you. So what I would do, I would uh, change that to text up here. And when I uh, change here. There we go. So now we'll continue checking. There we go. It's all been done. And the final one, extremely handy. 
how to create a chart with one press of a button after you've selected the data. So I want to select these, this information here, and the F11 key gives me a default chart on its own worksheet. You'll see the worksheet name down there. You can delete that if you wish, or you can use that to a particular chart using the chart tools at the top here to change the layout, so on and so forth. But we'll delete it for the sake of the exercise. I'm asked to confirm the deletion when I delete a sheet. So there you go, folks. There are some very, very handy little tips you may well find handy. Um, don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. We, of course, love likes and comments, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.